Welcome to another edition of Tide Talk with Web. Uh, a lot of things to get into this week. and go ahead and say I preempt you that I'm sorry. This video is coming out a little late. I've been busy with family. Um, <coughs> as we all know, recruiting's over with, so let's jump into it. I'm going to go ahead and get into the uh, grading uh, of the recruiting that we, were, we just had. And we're going to go through the offensive side of it first. At the QB position, we got an A. Uh, we had five-star Tua from Hawaii. We also had four-star Mac Jones, which is great because we only have one returning quarterback. All the other quarterbacks transferred or were seniors and transferred because of that. Uh, so the only returning person that we had at quarterback was Hertz, which he's an amazing player, but we needed depth. So we added both of that with both of those um, signees, which is great. We got a grade of A. We also got a grade of A at running back. We had five-star Harris and four-star Robinson. Amazing players. Uh, Harrison was probably the number one running back in the country, according to a lot of uh, recruiting sources. Also, he was uh, one of the number one, I think, in rivals as far as the number one player in the country. Uh, very highly heralded. Both of these guys, they had great depth, but they're also coming into one of the deepest backfields Alabama made has ever had in our history. Uh, but those guys are not afraid to compete, and they're competitors, so it just makes it better. Uh, at the wide receiver position, we've got another grade at A. Uh, we had five-star Judy, four-star Smith, four-star Ruggs, four-star Shavers, four-star Townsend. Uh, Townsend came as an athlete. Uh, he's kind of an interesting hybrid guy because he could also play defensive back. He's one of those guys that's so good, um, he could do a lot of different things. So right now, he's, he's training and practicing as a receiver. But he may get switched over to defensive, defensive backs because of the high number of receivers we have right now at Bama. So that's something to watch out for. Uh, at tight end, we got graded at a B because we got uh, four-star Tennyson and also three-star James. Uh, we were losing uh, O.J. Howard, which was a home run threat, probably one of the best uh, tight ends in the country. We kind of underused him last year, unfortunately. Uh, but he's a game changer. He probably will be in the NFL. Uh, and Brandon Green. Brandon Green was also used as kind of an H-back. Uh, great player, great kid. I uh, hate to lose both those guys. Uh, offensive line, we got greater than A. We had five-star uh, signee uh, Alex Leatherwood, four-star Jarek William Willett, Willis, sorry, and four-star Elliot Baker. He's a JUCO. He'll probably see the field right away. And we also had four-star Kendall Randolph. Uh, let's get into the grading of Bama's defensive class. Uh, defensive line uh, grade, we got an A. Uh, we had five-star LeBron Ray, uh, four-star Isaiah Bugs, and four-star Philadarian Mathis, who's a Juco kid. <clears throat> He'll also see the field right away. Uh, great player. Adds a lot of great depth there. Unfortunately, um, we did not get Solomon. I said in a previous podcast we were probably going to get him. My sources, everybody I talked to said well, he was coming to Bama. Last minute he decided not to and went to Michigan. That probably was due to um, playing time and playing immediately. <clears throat> That's just my take on it from what I saw. But uh, Also, we got a uh, linebacker. We got graded at an A. We got five-star Dylan Moses, four-star Chris Allen, four-star Mikael Benton, and we also got four-star Vendarius Cowan. <clears throat> all home run guys, all great guys. Uh, adding to a massive uh, depth of talent there in Alabama right now. So that's going to be great. We can rotate so many guys, which will be great in the fourth and third quarters. At cornerback, we got a D. This is a position I, had, in previous podcasts, I was worried about because we were really thin. Um, we didn't have a ton of backups coming back in, and some of the ones we did were juniors, so there wasn't a lot of talent behind them. Um, for whatever reason, we just didn't finish strong in that area. We only got one guy, three-star, Kyrie McDonald. <clears throat> uh, at the posi position of safety, we got graded to B. Uh, we got two pretty darn good safeties. We got four-star Xavier McKinney and four-star Daniel Wright. I think those guys are really good, so those are two great pickups for us. Long snapper, we got grade of an A with Thomas Fletcher. Uh, I think we got another home run hit, and this guy as well. <clears throat> okay. Uh, here are some surprises some, and some great overall grades uh, that, about this class. Um, some, of the, some of the biggest, uh, biggest home run hit I think we got was Najee Harris, the running back. Um, immediate impact players that I think we got were Alex Leatherwood because he's going to be replacing Cam Robinson. Cam Robinson's uh, going to the draft, which creates a big void right there on the O-line. 
Uh, Jonah Williams could slide over from uh, the right side to fill in the void, but then who fills in the right side? So we're looking at Alex Leatherwood to, to fulfill that position. We hope he does. Uh, we have all the hope in the world in this kid because he's really almost a man-child coming in. So we think he's going to be really good. Uh, the biggest sleeper, I think, in this class is Mac Jones. The guy's got a rocket arm. He's not a dual-threat guy, which is kind of the system we're going to at Bama, but uh, I think he can add a lot of depth. Uh, he's got the long ball. <clears throat> Down Patty's more of a pro-style passer, but regardless, he brings great depth. But he, I think he is the sleeper in this class because a lot of people weren't talking about this kid. Uh, the biggest surprise for me uh, was Xavier McKinney. Uh, I thought he was going to Clemson. Uh, literally, he flipped on New Year's Day uh, to the good guys, to the Crimson Tide. So that was great, great pickup. We desperately needed that because, like I said, our corner, corners and defensive bats class got graded a D. Didn't do so well this year, but we're going to pick it up next year because we're already after about 14 or 15 of the top guys in the country next year. We're already on them, so that's great. I think we'll finish out very strong in that position next year. Uh, the strongest unit who got added depth to, of course, was linebackers, as I just mentioned. Uh, huge talent pool there, uh, but we just added to it. So I think that when we start seeing guys rotate in the third and fourth, there's not going to be a drop-off at all, period. Um, one of the biggest surprises uh, was Tyrell Shavers, uh, the 6'6 uh, receiver. Uh, he ran a, a wind-aided 4'3'8 in the 40. Uh, this guy, if he's not a home run threat his first year, I'll be seriously surprised. I mean, this guy has got all the talent in the world. We just got to improve our passing game a little bit, and this guy is going to knock it out of the park. Uh, top playmaker, I think that we got in this this class. I think it's going to be Jerry Judy. I, I really think this guy has got it, the it factor. Now, don't get I'm not trying to take away from what I just said about Terrell Shavers, but this guy is uh, going to be very, very, very good. Another home run threat. He was. He's going to be, I think, one of the top playmakers in the in the long run. Uh, one of the biggest, uh, best recruiting wins that I think we got, honestly, um, two out of Louisiana, which was uh, Dylan Moses, that great linebacker. I thought for a minute he wasn't going to Alabama, but he was. He stayed strong. He stayed with us, so that's great. Also, uh, Bulavos, the kicker. Um, I think that was a great gift for Alabama, uh, especially since we had uh, Ruiz decommit at the last minute. I think it was great. Uh, this was his dream school, so that helped. And when Saban called him, I think it, it was good. It was done. And so that was two great pickups for us. <clears throat> uh, we did lose a commit for 2018 already. Uh, a tight end out of Texas for 2018, Malcolm Epps. Uh, I think he just, from what I've been reading, he felt a little like he just he went ahead and committed too soon. And he wanted to look at all of his options. There was quite a few other teams uh, in the running for him. And I think he just wanted to be a kid and check out the other options. And that's great. Go do it. Uh, I still think his best option is coming to Bama, but we'll see. But that young man just wants to uh, look around for a minute, so no.